Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies, I'm Nye. I'm Mako. I'm Chugga- wait, no, that's someone else. We I'm just, vibrating ominously. We just bought the gold magnets. Yay! So, friends, would you like to guide me through how to do this? Just a moment and I will. I'm gonna do it on survival day. Um... Or is it survival night? You want to do it on last stand. Oh, we haven't unlocked that yet, so it'll, okay, it'll have to wait then. Yes. Moving on. Big trouble, little zombie. Um, the most notable things you need for it are... Yeah, you've got them all. Okay. So the zombies are miniaturized. And that's the only way this is any different from the usual setup. In Actually, I think, they move, I think they move faster, too. Yeah. Is it wrong that, you know, looking at this, I think that they ought to be, like, tiny and blue? Undead Smurfs? What? Why not? That's about right. I mean, that sounds like something that should happen. No, no, no. Undead Smurfs is not a thing that should ever happen. I disagree. I <laughs> God, I can't believe I do that now. So... I used to, uh, one of the classes I had to take, uh, in college was a philosophy course, because you go to college, take a philosophy course, apparently, and, um, we had a philosophy club that went afterwards, because the teacher who, uh, taught the course was cool as shit. To give you a, a level of, uh, how cool he was and how much I liked the man, um, he had... His, you know, he had a big, a big view on religious tolerance, and uh, while staunchly, uh, staunchly Catholic, I believe, uh, he decided that he was going to try to search for or create a place where all religions could come and speak to each other on even ground, where no one had to, or everybody could feel safe and no one had to, uh, be, you know, be worried about being, uh, uh, well, no chance like, of Allah Akbar stab, none of that shit. So. Apparently, there, apparently there's a religious background to this particular thing, but he decided he would not cut his hair until he had found that spot. Apparently there's something in the Bible about this. I don't know. I, it's been a long time since he and I talked, to, uh, he and I talked about this. But he ran a, he ran a uh, philosophy club. And the idea was that we would go to this local bar that had pool tables, uh, really good food, and we would just sit and talk, and we would just discuss... Uh, Things from class, very various philosophical uh, discussions, um, just whatever the hell we wanted, basically. And in some cases, he would come out and he'd pull out some really just boss movie, and we would watch it at his place and then discuss it after the fact. So examples of that would be uh, Children of Men, for example, or funnily enough, The Big Lebowski. So a lot of fun stuff. But I remember sitting in this club and we were talking about. I can't even remember anymore. Like, we would be sitting there, and I wanted to actually discuss the actual philosophy of things and go over theories and, you know, uh, sit there and, you know, actually discuss the implications and potential downsides of I think, therefore I am, for example. It's been a while since I've had this class, so you're going to have to forgive me for not remembering all the stuff I should remember about it. But there was this one guy, and unfortunately it was him plus some others, where if I tried to disagree with him on something or tried to actually, you know, spark up some level of discussion over this in the philosophy club, his response would be to go, I disagree, high five the nearest guy, and discussion was over. There was beer involved, which may have something to do with it. The, fl the phrase, what a flaming retard, comes to mind. I, <laughs> yeah. And it's really hard for me to say something like that because this was supposed to be like an open discussion of events. So, you know, he's allowed to have his opinion on that. But it's like, we're, are we not here to discuss? Are, are, no, he was here they, to get an easy A. Uh, the club had nothing to do with your grade. You did not get a bonus for it in any way. It was there for if you wanted to go and have, this, have these discussions. Some so. people just get their kicks by trolling. I guess. They see him trolling. 
I mean, the, the club was the club was absolutely badass, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I got introduced to Settlers of Catan there, enjoyed the hell out of it with those people. It was really fun. Uh, the teacher, wait, uh, Catan? Yes, Settlers. It's Catan. You I don't Catan. give a shit. You can pronounce it how you want. I don't give a damn. I pronounce it correctly. Sure, fine, whatever. Your mileage may vary. Anyways. Um, I don't think I get miles. That's a shame. You should get a better credit card. Anyways. Um, but it was, it was a really fun class. And I always felt bad about it because uh, the, the Ever teacher... Ever since the incident with the waffles? That too. The teacher was really awesome. And he really wanted to focus on furthering whatever education you wanted. And the problem was he, was, he wasn't even a full-time professor. He was an adjunct. So he wasn't even given the opportunity to be a full-time dude. They only had him in part-time. Which always I always felt terrible about that. Because I'm sitting there going, this guy, he makes, he makes this fun. He should be a permanent dude. So, um, yeah, it was, it, 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 it was always dicks that he couldn't be. But, uh, bleh words um I really set that up the exact wrong way yeah but he he, he always it always felt like dicks that he he wasn't that guy unfortunately but uh he and I spoke on a uh, religion a lot and just for the sake of speaking on it there was no you know there's no real argument between us we were just speaking on it and one time I brought the fact that I really you know I had not read the Bible, I'd, I had always seen glimpses of it, but didn't really understand. And so his response was, you know what, go find your family Bible if you have one, bring it to me after class, and we'll talk. And that was it, that was the, <clears throat> that was all. And that was, that always felt really cool to me. Even though I was really not particularly interested, it was always very cool that he made the offer. I never had a chance to do it, unfortunately, because uh, this time was never available. But just the offer was cool. Even if I wasn't interested. As cynical as I am, I will say I have met a lot of religious folk that, on the whole, are really, really nice. And they do believe in the whole love and tolerance thing. Mm -hmm. It's just that there's a very, very, very loud minority of ass munches. Ass munches. It's a term. Is that a I've technical heard. term? Yes. Okay. Because these people are technically too busy munching ass to do anything actually useful with their lives. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just, just look at that string of fire fire bees. Are you enjoying that? Yeah. Now I remember I took philosophy in high school. It was my last elective, and we had a very interesting guy because the guy who was teaching us was an ex priest. Hmm. Nobody knows like why he stopped being a priest, and frankly, nobody really wanted to ask. But he had some. It was it was always interesting because he was the kind of teacher who ran who ran the kind of class, especially the kind of philosophy class. Who he didn't necessarily care what it was that you had to say so much as bottom you row. The, oh, got him. So much as that you could argue the point. He didn't care what you had to say as long as you fucking said it. Well, as long as you said it eloquently. He didn't care what the point was so much as uh, what the point you were making was so long as you could argue it effectively. It's a good way to do it. So like it I'm was not sure it what's was going to happen down here. It was the only it was the only class I can name where you could quite literally argue your way to a better grade. Sounds about right. I mean that's that's the way that type of class should be, in my opinion. I'm not going to even allow that. I've always that. been fond of the uh, urban legend of the kid who turns in his... What is it? It's the philosophy final. The only question is why, and the kid turns in... Not even why not, just... Because. Eh. I don't know. Oh, okay. Literally, eh... E H comma space I U N N O period dot an A. I don't get how that's supposed to work. A wise man admits that he is an idiot. 
Yup. I mean, I guess if that's the way you want to argue that, but... Basically, what it boils down to is, it wasn't why do, do you this, think way. we're here. Oh, and he... Fl uh, okay, I don't lose from that. Okay. It, it wasn't why do you think it, it's why concrete are we here? And as he responded, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and that got the A. Because as of yet, we have not proven adequately that there is any particular reason humans have, have been created. And if there's a god, he's not telling us. Hell, we don't even know if there is a here. I mean, I think the argument because would be a valid one. Just why? Because. I don't know better than that, but it happened, therefore there's a reason. My roommate's philosophy on it is we're here because the Earth has no natural way to generate plastic. Yeah, but that's not your roommate's argument, that's George Carlin's argument. You tell him he needs to give proper due and proper respect. Ah, uh, Georgie boy. Great man. So... You may have noticed that this is a very interesting thing. This is probably one of my favorite minigames. Whenever you play something, it is not one, it's an entire column. Which is fun. Luckily, the game is giving me basically just the exact setup I'm looking for. Which is awesome. Just put pumpkins there. Why not? Because we can. Let the, let the pults do their job. Trans, this is really stupid. The fact that this is working. This is I've really seen stupid. Some, wait till you see the strategy I've got for gold making. It's... PVZ works with a lot of strats that are silly. That is absolutely true. And what we've got right here is one of the most common endgame strats. Pelt them with melons. How many melons? More. Oh, How god. many more? All more. the ones you have. Oh god. If just just, just, just look at that. You've got a... Transmute got... air to melon inwards. <laughs> Toasty! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, and that is literally a screen clearer. That's why I was saving it for so long. Uh, yeah, we're going to fire that right now. I'm not dealing with that. That's a great big bucket full of nope. More flower pots. The problem is the game is the game has given me its initial setup, and now it won't give me anything else. Mm. Ah, and here come the gargantuans. And well, suddenly, Nye realizes... Plural. Oh, yeah. We're hosed. I don't think that we are. I don't think that we are. As that philosophy teacher would have said, just gotta have faith. Mostly I'm just using the flower pot to slow people down. <laughs> Works remarkably well. Hmm. I'm marginally more, more concerned with the fact that you really haven't gotten anything well. You've yeah, the game is just not giving me anything anymore, which I'm not sure why. I mean, that's not too bad. It's been giving me plenty of pumpkins, which I can use to defend myself for just long enough. But, um... What is this? I can't even tell... Squash. Okay. That'll give me some... That'll buy me some time. I love the squash just for how awful of a pun its very existence is. So it looks like now we're going to lose. Unfortunately, there's just nothing I can do anymore. You blew your fiery load a little too early. Uh, I don't think that had much to do with it, honestly. Let's go ahead and hit a restart. I, I think it had less to do with it, that and more than the have game it. did you used it up right before the first major wave or second. Because I had to. There was I wasn't getting anything. Okay, this we're going to put on the back line. This we'll put here. 
You'll notice it's giving me the exact same setup, by the way. Maybe not. That I will hold in reserve. I thought it was giving me the same setup. But you thought incorrectly. Apparently. Wave of melon bolts. Pretty Wait, much. why did you put those potato mines in the back? Because if I put them in the front, the only thing that would happen is they would just immediately blow up on the first couple of things. I want them back there as an emergency. Fair. What else is he going to put there? Sunflowers? Yep. Well, I, ne I never bought the roof cleaners is the thing. I never no. bothered. There was never a point. There's never, and there's no guarantee where they would work in a, work in this round anyway. Yeah. So there was never, I never bought them, so I never had those. And see, now the game's not giving me any jalapenos at all. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Gonna let things go a little bit. Didn't get any gargantuas okay. yet. That I want to deal with right now. Yeah, that is a sack of no. Uh, do I want to eat some squash now? Depends Save on what's them for up. gargantuans. Like those? Yeah. And one more stack. As I said, they will kill gargantuans. Mm -hmm. It just, just takes, takes more them. than one. Yeah. I think you can only plant... No, you can plant these... Okay. Never mind. I thought you can only plant them if you had a full row open, but apparently I'm incorrect. So we're just going to wait patiently. We're actually doing pretty okay right now. I really wish I had a good place to put these. But I don't. What's that, a pumpkin? Put those right there. Come on, just keep on hammering them. See, I really, like, this is where I really wish. Fine. If that's how we're going to do this. Oh, that's about all I can do there. So we have jalapeno. Oh, God, and we just got wrecked. So the jalapenos only just showed up. Okay, so. Um, so the question is, how boned am I? Very, 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 very boned. Got it. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to place that down until I have something to put in them. These gargantuans might be the last of everything. Like, this might be the last everything. Of course, the game's not going to actually give me anything to deal with them, apparently. Put down a wall of uh, things in front of them so they can... I mean, I ups. can... But all they're going to do is crush them, so it's not going to help at all. Well, yeah, but it gives you a couple, a second or two more for your, uh, catapults. Oh, yes! Check that out. Thing. The Save squash. Save by the squash. Save by the squash. Okay. To quote Jack Septicai, you just can't beat the squash. That was terrible. So we're getting there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different mini games left until mini games are complete. Uh, of course, uh, then uh. it's time for puzzles. It's gonna take a while, but we will do it. We <clears throat> have the technology. See you guys next time. Don't want to spend a lot of money.